I can hear the grass grow. Bit out of focus. One of my local shops, I went there yesterday. The Food Warehouse by, by Iceland. I well, know, it's, it's by you, uh, it's not by Iceland up, up the North Atlantic. Well, you know, Iceland, the company, Welsh company from North East Wales. <laughs> yeah. Four gangsters pasties, right? Three pound. 75, 75 pence each. Go to my local garage. A two pound fifty for one. Or two pound thirty nine for one. My God, that's good. And I bought some uh, McCoy chicken, uh, southern fried ch chicken thighs. Chicken thighs. You want to buy anything from the freezer section, buy thighs. It's got it all. It's not dry like breasts. Eating cream crack, cream crack, crackers with no water. <coughs> and it's got plenty of essential oils in it. Chicken thighs. Well, traditionally, it used to be good balance of omega six, omega three, but because they depends what they feed the chicken, but I, chickens <coughs> because uh, omega three is different and um, it's. It's not as stable as oil, uh, an oil as omega-6. And omega-6 is a very good oil to have too much of. <clears throat> it's uh, inflammation promoting in your immune system. While omega-6, which is more of a, of a fragile oil, tends to go off. That's why you need to eat fish quick. It's full of omega-3. Oily fish. You buy fresh mackerel. Eat it straight away. We got mackerel. Oh, you know when mackerel goes off. You know when the oil um, is packed full of omega three oil, and you can taste when it goes off. It's got that sort of uh, slight vinegary taste, and it starts to develop histamine in its in the meat, and um, you you can bloody be very ill if you uh, eat the old oily fish. One way of stabilizing it, like the native North Americans did, was. Uh, Smoke it, yeah. Smoke kippers like we do in the in Scotland. Smoke kippers, which is smoked herring, smoked mackerel, mm -hmm. and that stabilizes it. But it's still got the omega three, but it's, it it stabilizes it. Mm, yeah, what? Yeah, so there. Yeah, it's just it's about quarter to one year. So happy Thursdays, UK, Britain, so on. Oh my God, yeah. Blown up pipelines in the Baltic Sea. Been catching up on it and it's, it's obvious. It was a NATO mission, obviously. They had to get those Nord Stream 1, Nord Stream 2, Russia to Germany pipelines out of Putin's equation. So put them out of action. So Putin can't uh, can't barter anymore using them. And there's been a lot of things going on in the dark shadows around Europe about sorting out electricity and um, uh, sorting out uh, energy. For instance, uh, uh, I think a couple of days before, them two pipelines were blown up. A new pipeline from Norway, across Denmark and, uh, well, northern, to Poland, and it was, yeah, opened. And there's a lot of things going on. All the, all the LPG container ships, liquid petroleum gas container ships that EU and USA could get hold of around the world. I'm bringing deliveries to Western Europe like like anything. So, you know, uh, there's a lot of things going on we don't, and I, that are not reported, that are uh, dear 
suppressed. Defense advisory, don't report suppressed. Mm, yeah. Yeah. It'll be all right this winter, I think. Well, the thing is, is um, because of the uh, shutdown of Russian, as much as possible, Russian petroleum, gas and oil, you know, uh, the world price of them has gone up because it's all dealt in dollars. You know, just it's just a basic. So the world price has, and once EU, Western Europe, Middle Europe, uh, gets it all stabilized, the deliveries, the price will fall back. And well, it won't go back to as low as it was because the Russian gas was cheap, 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 very cheap, and that's a, that sort of uh, warped the market in recent years, one way or the other. But you know, uh, gas prices were starting to go up for the last two, three years, and that's why the, all these British energy suppliers um, went bust. So, you know, the, it, it just takes a little bit of time to organise a different way of doing things. But energy prices won't go back to as cheap as before. Not in the near future. Oh, my God. Yeah. Aye. 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 I've been mentioning to a few people that do these uh, various videos like on YouTube that uh, the government needs to step in. They should have been sorting this over the summer. Well, I suppose they were. You don't know what goes on, see, behind the, in the back rooms and everything. They may have been working at it, I don't know. But, um, well, when the government needs to step in quick, organise things, and become, in the UK now, become the energy broker. It's the most efficient way of doing things. And, uh, and there should be a... Uh, what's the word? A special fund for people on benefits and pensions, old people on pensions. There certainly needs to be a a sort of section for them, you know. Because, for instance, a local company near me, Oil for Wheels, my, my old friend uh, works for them. They're delivering free oil, uh, oil, heating oil, heat, free heating. A lot of people around here, use, I use heating oil, not gas. There's no gas coming to this house. No gas on the road. Heating oil. Free heating oil for pensioners over 80. Something like that. They're doing that, and they're out of their own pocket. Hmm. How philanthropic and altruistic is that then? You're in Wales. In Come on, aren't you? Uh, fellas based in Nantic House. If you know Nantic House, the petrol station. I think that's... Yeah, that's mm. He was the one that first brought uh, LPG gas for vehicles. Yeah. So all the farmers around here with the Range Rovers and Land Rovers are starting to convert the, convert them to run on LPG. It's not... Uh, it's, it's, it's a dry gas, though, you know. So the engines did sort of uh, suffer a bit. You know, uh, there's no dry gas LPG, there's no lubrication in it. So the rings and bows and pistons did suffer a little. Uh, so I say with a Land Rover, Range Rover engine, say uh, needing a, a complete engine overhaul, bows and cylinders, with petrol petrol you know I needed to do whatever about say 80,000 miles well diesel diesel go on and on and on because diesel is an oil in itself but uh, LPG you know you're talking about you've got to give your engine a good service of 50,000 miles 
change the rings, have a good look at the bows and pistons, have a good, good look at the valves as well. The valve guys, that's what, oh my god, I'm over 10 minutes. Well, I'll make this limb. Told you rubbish in a minute. Anyway, Ukraine, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Bernie Sanders is on steroids. It, it, it's, very, it's like the butterfly effect. Something happens, the other side of the, if a butterfly loses his wings, uh, we have a tidal wave in Wales. We have a tidal wave in Wales. I'm not saying there will be a tidal wave. Last one we had was uh, 1607, was it? Long forgotten event. Yeah. Whatever that, Terra, have a good Thursday home.